So you're coming back for part three of ABCs of the Big Easy. Stick around as we get to the next letters of the alphabet. And we are now at D. We're finally moving on to D. First up is Den. That's a Mardi Gras float warehouse. They're scattered about the city, hidden all over, and they hide these wonderful paper mache prizes that we used on the Mardi Gras season. They have the to floats. Have, they have to have somewhere to put them the rest of the year. Can't be outside because the rain would absolutely ruin them. That's right. Next up in D is also Mardi Gras related. It's doubloons. These are normally aluminum stamped coins. They started out and they're wood. very shiny. Very shiny. Normally in Mardi Gras type colors. Uh, with the parade crew's insignia and theme on it for the year. I love those. They're very cool. so cool. Next up is Dixie. Now, this is one of those terms that can be fairly divisive, but that's not us. In New Orleans, mm. you'll most often have Dixie used when ordering a cold beer. Dixie beer. Ah, uh, I see. Brand new location. I see. But for history's sake, I'll say that a $10 banknote here in New Orleans was most commonly called by the French colonial term, which was a Dix. The slang stuck. A stack of Dixies. Ah, I see. And that's, and that's how one we got of the here. ways they believe that the term Dixie came about. Next up, dirty rice. This is a rice dish with. This is a rice dish. <laughs> This is a rice dish with green peppers, onions, celery, and some meat Just variety. Just a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, green meat, pork, ground pork. Did I say green meat? Yes. Oh, that's gross. No green meat. That would be rotten. And that's a health hazard. Uh, yeah. We eat a <laughs> don't lot of eat stuff. It. We don't eat green no, meat. No, we, we don't eat health hazards. Please be safe. Okay. Next up is dress. <laughs> that's a po' boy served with mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and... Pickles. So if you go in some place and they ask you, you dressed or not dressed? Well, you say yes, you get all those toppings. That's what you get. That's right. All right, on to E. We are, we are flying through these. Flying through these. Etouffee. Now, this is a spicy Cajun stew. It's prepared with rice. Usually has shrimp or crawfish in it. The French word means smothered. So any smothered dish, technically, is an etouffee. Is an etouffee. And we are now on to F. F. That was so fast. I know, I know. Hey, if I missed any, please let us know. We'll cover we, it. We will, probably, we will probably do a bonus episode for everybody's suggestions. Next up is Fay Dodo. This is a Cajun dance party. It's considered a Fay Dodo because it's done after the children have gone to sleep. Most notable one in New Orleans would be the one that's done by the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. It's an annual Fay Dodo and fundraiser. Next up. Filet. Now, this is ground sassafras leaves. It's used to season and thicken gumbo. It was used... Am I boring you? No, I'm just... Filet was used by the local Indians and started as a substitute for okra, which was the traditional thickener used in West Africa, but wasn't always available here. You'll see gumbos now with filet or okra as a thickener. And sometimes both even. Sometimes you can use filet just on the side to use it right before you start. A lot of different ways you can do that. There's a lot of different ways you can do gumbo, yeah. period. Next up is flambeau. You know what a flambeau is? Oh, yes. I had to do a project on this. That's right. Lit torches historically carried during the night parades. They were basically meant to provide light. They originated from when nobody, they, before electricity was widespread. So they used that to light the way for the parades that and let exactly everybody right. see. Exactly. You will still see some traditional ones. They're done now mostly with propane. Yep. Uh, you will see some that are done with kerosene. Uh, you have to be certified to do them because they can... They can dangerous. They can light fire to the whole French Quarter if you're not careful. Yes. And we'd rather not have that happen that's again. A, that's another show. Yeah, no, that, uh, that's another episode. Here's another one that you may think you know. Front row. Front row. Well, in other places, this is known as the living room. I believe this term has arisen from the shotgun house, where all the rooms were stacked up each other all the way. It basically so, went straight back. Yeah, so the kitchen would normally be all the way in the back, the bedroom somewhere in the middle, so the front room would be the living room. It'd be where the family would gather. All right, next up is G. We're here in the G category. Next up, we have gallery. 
This is a walking and sitting area that overhangs the width of the sidewalk and is supported by posts or columns reaching to the ground. This is not to be confused with a balcony. It's a, a difference. So in New Orleans, if you look and it's got posts and it comes all the way across this, the sidewalk in the French Quarter, that's a gallery. If it's just a balcony, if it, it's, it, it's just, if a, just a protrusion, protrusion. If it's <laughs> just a protrusion, if it's it's just an area without the posts, that's balcony. a balcony. Okay, next up is Gossonier. This is the bachelor's quarter that's on a plantation. It's usually located behind the kitchen. If you go on a tour uh, of a plantation or an old home in New Orleans, you may hear that term used. Uh -huh. GNO. Greater New Orleans area. That's right. Uh, it's basically New Orleans and the surrounding, surrounding areas. Area. Next up is Gris Gris. Now, this is often mistaken as a bad thing, but Gris Gris mm, traditionally it's a, like voodoo, a good luck charm. Yep, it's a good luck charm. You can buy a Gris Gris bag or a Gris Gris device. So, next up is Griots. This is normally beef or veal round steak simmered in a brown gravy tomato sauce. And then it's served over rice or grits. Oh, God, I'm getting hungry. Uh, yes. Creole traditionally, but, man, oh so tasty no matter who makes it. Speaking mm. of tasty, gumbo. Ah, yes. Sign Thick one of New Orleans' signature dishes. Yes. Thick, spicy soup prepared with ingredients such as stuff. sausage, chicken, different seafoods, okra, normally served over rice. The name in the dish is a twist on a dish brought over with the slaves from Africa. So, and we're eventually going to do an entire yep. show of gumbo. Like yes. we do with red beans and beignets. Yeah, we still have gumbo, we have etouffee, we, we have jambalaya, we, we have, have a lot of good we stuff, have a lot we, have of to stuff make. we still can do. We still have a lot of good stuff to make. All right. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this journey from C to G of our local terms. Stick around for other episodes as we work our way through the alphabet. I just noticed that was yawning. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us. Go visit our website at BigEasyLife.org. Check out our merch store. Get the coolest... Wrong side of the shirt. Check out the coolest uh, shirt stuff that we have. I just had to check, but that was the plague shirt. Yes. It's a very cool shirt. And as always, thanks for being part of our Big Easy Life.